Hi, this is Robert Proctor. Do you ever wonder how commission volume, CV, is determined in a multi-level marketing compensation plan? Stay tuned, I'm going to show you how. You know, every week I consult with multi-level marketing clients and potential multi-level marketing clients. And one of the questions I'm asked most is, how do we determine the commission value of a product for a compensation plan? Well, the mathematic formula is pretty simple. So I'm going to take a few minutes here and actually show you how to determine CV, or what we call commission value, based upon a product that you want to sell through multi-level marketing. The first and most important thing to determine is, what is your cost of goods? For the example here, I've determined my cost of goods for my widget is $10. Typically in network marketing, most multi-level marketing companies mark up their price by six to eight times their cost of goods. For this example, I've marked it up eight times. So I've taken a $10 cost of goods and marked it up at a retail sales price of $80. That retail sales price is normally what your retail customers are going to pay for the product. Not preferred customers, that's something that we'll save for another, uh, another time. Your retail customer that doesn't participate in the business opportunity is going to pay $80 for that. What do distributors pay? Well, most distributors join your network marketing company so that they can buy the product at wholesale. We actually talk about if you promote the product, they'll stay for the opportunity. If you promote the opportunity, they're just leaving for the next opportunity. So most distributors are focused on joining a multi-level marketing company so that they can enjoy the discount offered to distributors. Typically, you're going to offer a 20 to 30% discount to your distributors when they participate in the network marketing opportunity. Here, we've offered a 20% discount, so or 25% discount. So our product retails for $80. We're going to give a distributor a 25% discount. That also means that when the distributor sells this product to a retail customer, they're going to earn the difference normally between the $60 and $80. That's what's called a retail sales profit. So the distributor price here is $60. Now, the most important question of all that I'm asked is, how much does the company get to keep? And when I ask a client this, we always tend to joke, you can't answer all of it. In this scenario, we've decided the company is going to keep $15. In the typical retail sales industry, there's a terminology known as Keystone, and that's usually where a company takes their product cost of goods for $10, and they double it. They retail it for $20. Well, we know in network marketing, there's much more value provided by distributors, provided by the company, so we can usually tend to mark products up a little bit higher. So we've decided here that the company is going to keep $15 profit. That's after they cover their cost of goods. What's our commission value? Our commission value is $35. $35 is the amount that we can afford to pay through the compensation plan. We're not going to design comp plans today. That's for another episode. How do we determine the $35? Well, bottom line, the $60 price paid by distributors, less the $10 cost of goods, less the $15 that's kept for the company, we have a commission value available of $35. There's two schools of thought on how we're going to pay that $35 out through the compensation plan. My recommendation, just set your commission value, your CV, at $35, and then the compensation plan should be designed to pay out $75 to 80% of that. And again, in a future episode, I'll go into why we don't pay out 100% of that. There's actually some unique reasons for that. So set the CV at 35, it's pretty easy to calculate from there. The other option is set your CV, your commission value at 80, which is your retail sales price, and then pay out about 43%. How do we get 43%? Well, simply, our available commission is $35. 35 is 43% of 80. So again, two schools of thought on how you can pay, it, pay out the, the compensation plan, pay out the commissions. This is Robert Proctor. I hope you got some value from this information. If you did, make sure to like it, share it, send some people to watch the video, and have a great day. We'll see you on the next episode. Thank you.